first on China. Overnight, down 2.5%. So forget the bounce. They actually took them to new lows. So if you go to the chart, it's off the chart. The Chinese stock market reflects China slowing. So while everybody was paying attention to Italy, we'll remind you that China is much bigger than Italy in terms of size and scope. What you have is the opposite of yesterday, and that's why global risk on, as Wall Street likes to call it, is up because you're seeing a reversal of the pain that's been ongoing, by the way, in Italy economically, going all the way back. Look at the economic data in Europe. It's just terrible. Put that in context, U.S. retail sales are running four and a half to five and a half percent. So again, not even close. Europe's not even close to being what the USA is. Don't forget, volatility can be episodic. This move yesterday in volatility was massive, obviously. It went to 17.12 uh, in the VIX by the end of it all. Uh, but it's right back to bullish trend. More importantly, the implied volatility discounts that we've been warning you about, again, at the top end of the range, you don't want to be buying stocks, especially if you have developing implied complacency via the implied volatility discounts. And lo and behold, people get the crowbar across the face. And now we have implied volatility premium of 22% in the S&P 500.